Join me today for an eyeliner and eyeshadow tutorial for mature hooded eyes. And I've had so many questions about how the eye lifting technique will work on hooded eyes. So the beautiful Linda has agreed to be my model and she's perfect because her hooded eyes may be similar to yours. And because of that, you can easily follow along and see the actual results that will relate to you. Please go ahead and give a thumbs up for Linda. She's been the perfect model to showcase realistic results for mature hooded eyes. And if you're new to Fabulous 50s, I'd love for you to subscribe and ring that bell and join our fabulous community of women over 50. Okay, let's get started. To start, we're going to map out Linda's eyebrows with three dots. We'll do inner brow, outer brow and center brow. There's a diagram coming up and you can take a quick screenshot of that so you can remember what to do. And when we join these points together, you'll have the perfect shape eyebrow for your face. Now that you have the perfect shape and length and height for your eyebrow, use your pencil to start filling in the gaps and just use light feather strokes, brushing upwards. And I'm using the Benefit Precision Pencil on Linda, which is fantastic in shade number three. Using a light hand and light feather strokes, fill it in, brush it up and fill it in until it's perfect. The next step is an eyeshadow primer and this is essential for mature eyes because the primer helps with the eyeshadow creasing and the other thing it does is it makes the color of the eyeshadow more intense. You only need a small amount and then brush it on and tap it in. The next step is to color the lid with a neutral color. I'm using the Milani Bold Obsession Artistry Palette. They're matte shadows, they have great pigment and for hooded eyes we want to go soft and subtle. And here's the eyeliner trick that makes all the difference. It gives an instant eye lift. And what we're going to do is we're going to create one straight line on the last lash. Create that line and then look up into the mirror and you'll see where your natural crease sits. Then close your eyes and just go ever so slightly up past that crease. Make the line a little bit longer and then bring it down into a triangle. You can experiment with this until you get it right, but practice makes perfect and it makes such a difference. Then continue on for the rest of the lash line, cutting in as close to your eyelash as possible and continue blending and feathering out that line so it looks perfect. And the best thing about using eyeshadow for your eyeliner on mature eyes is that it's soft and it's very, very forgiving. This diagram is really helpful as well. It just shows you, you take the last lash, take a line upwards, bring it down into a triangle and then all the way to the corner of your eye. I'm using the same eyeshadow palette using a combination of the black and brown. The pigment is perfect and you can always wet the brush to make the color more intense. Use a brush to clean up any makeup that's fallen underneath your eyes. Using a pointed brush, I'm going to take a cool toned brown and starting from the end point of your eyeliner tip, take the eyeshadow in towards the corner of your eye going back and forth. We don't want to add a ton of eyeshadow with a huge amount of pigment. We want it to be soft and blended in. And we're creating this line on the soft part of Linda's hooded eye. And you can see here how it's going up and not out. That's the trick we use to keep the look natural. And one of the absolute biggest mistakes you can make with mature eye makeup is to use too much of it. To make Linda's eyes pop, I'm using the Becca Moonstone Shimmer and just put that at the center of the eye and right in the corner. And what we add light to, we make bigger. So for this purpose, we're going to bring out that corner of the eye that gets a little bit deep set and make the center of the eye pop and it'll make the lid appear a little bit bigger. Adding definition to this part of your eye is really going to help your eyes pop and it's going to help lift the eyes. So take the bottom line and join it up to the top line. Less is more and the very small tweaks make a huge difference. You can go back in and clean up any mistakes or any eyeshadow fall that you have.
The most divine mature skin blush is by Nude Sticks. This one's called Sweet Peach Peony and it's dewy and it's moisturizing and you only need a little bit. This is very, very youthful on Linda. Brush it on and tap it in and then make your entire face come alive with Charlotte Tilbury's Flawless Filter. A little bit on top of your cheekbones and anywhere else you want to glow is perfect. Using an eyelash curler gives an instant lift to your eyelashes. Linda's clasping her lashes and she's pulling it in towards the center of her eye for 10 seconds. Because Linda has very fine blonde eyelashes, Thrive Mascara is perfect for her. You wait till you see the difference. The Thrive Mascara's got fibers inside it. It doesn't flake and it doesn't get itchy. It's so great and it really does give your eyelashes extra length and extra volume. If your eyelashes are really fine, use two or three coats. It really adds a lift. That's half of Linda's face done. She looks amazing. I'm going to go in and do the other half again and show you the eyeliner technique one more time so that you really understand it because it adds such a beautiful lift. Please don't get discouraged if you've tried makeup techniques that work for 20 year olds. If you've got hooded eyes, they're still going to be hooded, but they're going to look lifted and more beautiful and more vibrant and more alive and more awake. Just like Linda does right now. She still has her eyes. It's just now they're more lifted and more youthful. Small tweaks make a huge difference. Thank you so much, Linda, for being our model. You were amazing. Thank you for watching. And if you're a mature woman who loves experimenting with clothes and makeup, check out either of these videos next. I think you're going to love them. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.